questions of, you know, how do scientists stand up for moral questions? How do we do maintain intellectual integrity in a politically charged environment? These things are really relevant today. today. And pointing out that extraordinary people in the past, like Einstein, had to deal with these things. What do you do when your best friend turns out to be a war criminal, right? Einstein and Haber. How do you make sense of these sorts of things? So I find that, you know, and in the classroom, for instance, talking about these things in a historical context gives enough distance that students are willing to engage with it in a way they might not otherwise, right? If I just sit them down and say, okay, we're going to talk about climate change and political interference. Charge emotionally for a lot of people. That's right. Everybody will, will clam up and it'll be hard to actually have a conversation. But if you put it a hundred years ago, and then at the end of that conversation, you say, you know, were there any lessons from this for things we worry about today? And the students can make the connections very quickly.